right, so to do the lip, we're going to start by drawing a line. I don't want you doing this yet. I want your pencils down, and I want you to watch. I'm going to start with the line going across my paper, and I'm not worried about this being a straight line because that line that divides your top lip and your bottom lip is not straight. All right, so there's my line. Then in the middle of this line, I'm going to draw, I'm, you know, I'm looking at it trying to figure out about where the middle is. I think it's right about here. So in the middle, I'm going to draw a circle. Okay? And then on that circle, on the left side and the right side, I'm, put your pencil down. I'm going to draw a shape that is, you know, kind of like a skinny teardrop, but it's almost, to me, the most common shape I can think of is a carrot. Eyes on the screen, gentlemen. So I'm going to draw a carrot. Now for my lips, my carrot, the height of it is about the same as my circle. For some of you, that carrot's going to be taller because you want more of a dip. So here's my carrot shape. On the left side, it's going to come down and get skinny right here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Come down. Oops, that one's a little bigger. i got to make that a little smaller. And get skinny. Then on the bottom, right in the center, I'm going to do two big carrots or teardrops, whatever you want to say. So it's got to get narrower and narrower. Now, what is so effective about this technique that I like is if you do it right, you are making your lips come to a point like this. The most common mistake is that people have banana lips. And what I mean by that is they're... Sorry, guys, I'm talking and looking at this at the same time. Um, they have lips where I, I have such a hard time even doing it. It's like their lips are more like this, and they don't come to a point. So we want to make sure that our carrots come out and match up and get skinnier towards the edges. Now, when I erase all this, it starts to look more like lips. Right now, it looks like a bunch of odd shapes, but it will. And like I said, this is really an effective way to get some pretty decent lips. So I'm going to say, go ahead, it's your turn. I want you to copy what I've done and see if you can get some of these interesting looking shapes.